Good evening. Coming to you from the Hoosier State, but I am not a Hoosier. You're listening to the Chaps Fantasy Chat on Lenny Melnick's FantasySportsNetwork.com. Guys, I got a bunch of stuff to share with you guys tonight, okay? I'm kind of changing format, so please bear with me. If it sounds a little choppy, I'm kind of working into something new, but I kind of wanted to go back to my roots and talk about some statistics and break those down. Um, So, you know, um, really... Honored to be here on the Lenny Miller Fantasy Sports Network. Um, really um, honored to be work, working with a bunch of great baseball-minded people. And I just want to jump right into it. So without further ado, um, let's talk some stats, right? So the first thing I want to talk about, um, here we are. We're two months into the season. Basically anywhere between 65 to 58 games. So we got a really good sample size. And I think we got some true statistics that can show us what we're looking at, okay? So I'm just going to do a quick rundown tonight of um, of our stat leaders, our major stat leaders that you're going to talk about in your normal um, in, in your normal uh, standard fantasy league. And then we're going to go division by division, and we're going to talk about um, breaking down a few players, but also some highlights and some things that maybe um, you know. My my main goal is to try and get things that. Um, uh, other folks haven't talked about, okay? So uh, th- those are the sorts of things that we're going to look at, things that I feel like need, need brought um, attention to them and uh, others that, you know, all these great folks, we're not going to get everything. So let's let's just kind of be a catch-all and get some of those things as well, okay? So first off, um, if you're new to Lenny Melnick Fantasy Sports Network, we have a great chat room. If you go to Lenny Melnick Fantasy Sports.com, you can go into the chat room, you sign up, it's real quick, it's free, it's easy. That's one of the best um, perks of this network is the great folks we have in here. Tonight I see we have Kevin in here, Worlds Boom 29, we got Arnie, we got Cha Cha, we got Shaman. Guys, thanks for showing up, George. Um, thanks for showing up. I appreciate your support. I hope to entertain you guys. So if you have any questions as we go through this, you know, shoot them out and we, we can talk through it. So um, like I said, without further ado, let's talk about some stats. Okay, so th- <laughs> the, the, fir- the first thing that I want to talk about is um, home runs because home runs are king, right? Um, Christian Yelich currently is the, 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 the majors league leader in, in home runs at 24. He is... Um, Continuing left off the second half of last year, and you know his his home road splits are a bit concerning, but I do believe that this is your your true MVP, and he is hitting them at a record pace. He currently has a three home run lead on the second person, which is Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso is a rookie, which is quite impressive. I've got some interesting stuff about Alonso a little bit later, but at 21 homers as a rookie, he is certainly at the moment um, the front runner for Rookie of the Year in the National League. So he's doing really great things in, in New York. So number three, of course, is Cody Bellinger, um, Edwin Encarnacion, and Mike Moustakis. That rounds out our 20 homer, excuse me, and Gary Sanchez. Um, that rounds out our 20 homer group. That is five folks, if I can count correctly, one, two, three, six folks who have 20 homers at this point, two months into the season. Moose, you're absolutely right. Um, If, if, um, if Moose can continue this as a a 20 homer player at, at second base, man, he is certainly, certainly valuable. Um, Moving forward as a second baseman, so he he really looks comfortable in Milwaukee this year, and 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 I don't I don't blame him. That's a great place to hit. Um, so so just a couple other players of note. You know, at 19 you have Jay Bruce, who is absolutely on fire. Loves being back in the NL East. Um, has really started off well in in Philadelphia, and I see no reason why he wouldn't continue that. Um, from there on out, you got Fran Mill. Fran Mill Reyes has 19 homers, and Eddie Rosario. So, you know, pretty impressive group of folks there. Um, I won't go too much further down. Other folks in the group, 18, uh, Bell and Bregman, Freeman, um, just, your, you know, your, your normal guys. But, you know, maybe a couple guys we want to talk about. How about Jock Peterson, guys? 18 home runs already this year. I know he's, he's, he's not um, the most well-rounded player, but boy, he's really coming to his own in L.A. And, um, you know, L.A. is really... Uh, flourishing w- with with their hitters and um peterson's no exception um another guy is renfro hunter renfro i think it was lenny this morning was talking about it as a part-time player 
has really kind of forced his hand. He has 18 home runs already this year, guys, um, as a part-time player. So <coughs> you look at Framil and you look at Renfro, those guys are split in time. And they have almost 40 homers already. They have 37 homers already. That is pretty impressive. And half the amount of games, more or less, right, um, the, the full-time starters are getting. So, so you know, I, I really feel that they're going to have to make a, a move in San Diego and get rid of some of that surplus. Um, which one of those guys, I don't know who it will be. But I think both of those guys need, need to be starting more than what they are. Um, I'll move next to stolen bases. Um, yeah, you're right, Royals. Jock is a golden boy in daily change leagues. And, and, you know, it's funny because you can really – I've been doing that more more and more as well. I don't have uh, – unfortunately, I don't have Peterson. But, um, you know, these leagues where you can kind of chase speed and then chase power, I, 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 we'll talk about that a little bit later. There's some guys that you could pick out on the waiver wire. Um, at least I could. And I'm in fairly deep leagues, so I'm fairly confident some of you guys can as well, that, um, that can really influence um, y- your ability to do those sorts of things. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, not to leave you hanging. <laughs> Stolen bases. Man, um, how about Royals boom? Alberto Mondesi in his 24 stolen bases. He's got six more stolen bases than the next closest guy. Guys, that's dominant. That's dominant. And if you can, you know, I know, Kevin, you, you talk about trading Scherzer for him. Um, and I get it. I, I get where you're coming from. Scherzer's certainly been great. It'd be nice if he were winning more games, but um, Montessi and that stolen base premium, um, everybody else kind of clumps together, but, but Montessi is certainly taken to the top of that pack, and at 24 stolen bases, his ceiling is high. I mean, this is a guy, you're talking about the 60 to 70 stolen bases at the end of the year is, is quite attainable. So um, behind him, um, Jose Ramirez, you know, Jose Ramirez, the stolen base threat. <laughs> Not the home run threat. Not the triple crown guy. The stolen base threat. Uh, 16 homers. Malik Smith, a guy who got sent down to the minors um, for about a month, has his next, or excuse me, tied with Ramirez at 16 homers, and then um, Timmy Anderson at 15. So going down the list, those are all American League guys. Uh, Jared Dyson at 14, and then Christian Yelich is your first National League guy with 14 stolen bases. Why is that important? Well, it's important because. No player in 85 years, and this is my first nugget, no player in 85 years has led the division in the same year in, st- in stolen bases and in home runs. Guys, Christian Yelich has the most home runs in the National League and the most stolen bases in the, in, the nas- in the National League. So you're talking about something that has the potential, I'm not saying that it's going to happen or even it's likely to happen, but it has the potential of breaking an 85-year-old record, okay? That's impressive. That That's something that, that you know, you, you need to talk about, right? Um, that's the kind of stuff I, I, I'm speaking to. So just, you know, um, stolen bases are a, a little bit down, I, I, I feel like. Thanks, Kev. Appreciate that. Um, but but I, I do feel like there are some guys there that, you know, that it's funny. Anybody, D. Gordon's a guy. He has 12 stolen bases. He's back in the lineup tonight. Um, I expect him to have a nice little burst of speed in the next couple weeks, trying to make up for lost ground, trying to catch up, if you will. Um, I look for him to make a move. Um, I, Starling Marte, we'll talk about a little bit later. He's at 11, 11 stolen bases. Guys, Starling Marte is on fire. Starling Marte is playing some really good baseball. He's someone you need to watch. He's someone you could maybe target in a trade, okay? So just something to think about. Um, so moving on, we got home runs, we got stolen bases. Let's talk about average. Um, Cody Bellinger's come down to earth a little bit. He's no longer hitting 400 as he was for the most of the first month of the season, but he is still hitting 363. He is still leading the majors and he's leading the majors by about 23 percentage points. Um, 363 at this time of the year is pretty good in this day and age. You don't see a whole lot of folks hitting for average. Um, in fact, there's only 16 that are above 310 in the majors. Um, for, for Bellinger to be hitting 363 is pretty impressive. Second, Mr. Meadows. Austin Meadows is hitting 341. Um, and, and here's another name I just talked about. Christian Yelich is right behind him at 340. Folks, I hate to say this because it always causes a big freaking stir. Christian Yelich 
is the best player in fantasy baseball right now. Here we go. I know it. You guys are going to tell me all about Trout and all about Betts and all about Bellinger. And you're right. They're all great players. Show me the numbers. Yelich is walking the walk, okay? At 340. I'll take that on my team every day. Okay? Rounding out the rest of this field. I'm not going to go too far down. Uh, McNeil from the Mets is 337. Polanco is hitting 333. Arenado is surging. He's hitting 329. How about David Dahl, guys? At 329, guys. Okay? David Dahl is another guy that, that really just is really starting to turn it on. I like Denver's offense this, this summer. They're really going to start to get things going. Okay? And speaking about the Rockies' offense, who leads the majors in runs? None other than Mr. Trevor Story. Trevor Story has 57 runs and a six-run gap on three other players, Bellinger, Betts, and Trout. <clears throat> so, you know, I mean, here's a guy, I was while I was doing my research today, I saw he wasn't even in the top three in the initial all-star voting. I we all kind of well. I'll take I'll take a little bit of ownership. I kind of hated on him a little bit being the year. Said he wasn't a, a real hitter. <clears throat> Here he is, guys. Trevor Story is coming into his own as a consistent shortstop in the major leagues, and he leads the league, both leagues, in runs. Um, pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. Um, again, Bellinger. Betts, Trout at 51, Bogertz, Chris Bryant, and then there's Yelich at 50, um, Arenado at 49, some other interesting numbers down here, Devers is at 47, Josh Bell is at 46, he's fallen off just a touch, but he's still there, um, Escobar at 44, Eduardo Escobar is quietly having, <laughs> I'm starting to already. I'm starting to. I mean, I'll tell you what. I, I, I just I look for big things out of that offense in Colorado this summer, and I think he's a part of it. I think he's the centerpiece of it. I'll tell you what's always bugged me about Trevor Story. You get these guys. It's just like all these guys, right? You can say the same thing about George Springer. You can say the same thing about you know Mookie Betts. Any of these guys, they have this like, Chris Bryant. Javi Baez, they have this like cult following. And trying to get a guy like Trevor Story is is impossible to do. Okay? So um I, sometimes I think those are overblown. It's looking like this year the Trevor Story is looking like a good bet. So so yeah, I guess I am starting to flip on story a little bit. Um the proof's in the pudding. <laughs> um so anyway. We'll move on. We'll move on to RBIs. Because I, I, I found this interesting. Um, this is Lenny's cell candidate. Josh Bell is still leading the majors in RBIs at 58. Okay, followed closely by Nolan Arenado. I do believe Arenado will overtake him within this next week. But as for now, Josh Bell is still the leader in the clubhouse at 58 RBIs on the season. 64 games in, Okay. Um, Bellinger at 54, Escobar at 54 again, Eduardo Escobar, um, unsung, and uh, Marcelo Zuna at 54. Then you got Yelich at 53, Abreu at 52 is having a good year, guys. He's having a sleeper year, and it shows here. Um, so, any real jump outs for you guys? I mean, again, I, I, it's fun because you start looking at these, and I hate to do this too early in the season because I'll tell you, I always start to... Um, Jump to conclusions if you do this too soon. But I think at two months, this is a good sample size. This is a good a, a good time to sit down and look at these leaders. And again, some of these guys, like I said, start to jump out at you. Guys like David Dahl, guys like um, Escobar, start to jump out at, you, out at you if you really sit down and look at the numbers, okay? That's, what, that's the importance of this exercise. So, let's move on to pitching. Because I think there's some really interesting stuff here as well. Um... Oh, Cha Cha, don't tell me that. I'm not even watching. Don't tell me that. I see Alonzo hit another homer, though. Boy, that kid's good. Um, anyway. Why you gotta tell me the middle of my show, Cha Cha? Now I'm gonna be depressed the rest of the time. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Pitching. Hinjin Ryu is 9 and 1. He leads the majors and wins, tied with Jake Odorizzi. Guys, these two folks 
uh, are having breakout years and a